So this is it. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to repair a razor slice in the back of a leather sofa. I wanted to pick something that sounds nasty, but actually has a pretty simple solution that you can learn quickly and apply almost immediately. So watch the video, and I believe by the time I'm done, you'll say, I can do that. I've been a furniture upholstery guy a long time, and that solution is something I can do. And that's what I want for you. I want you to say yes to jobs and make money with them. So watch the technique, and I hope it makes you money in your business tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Fixing a razor slice in leather. Remember the scenario. It was a slice into the side of the leather. If you remember, I asked the manager that specifically because if it was straight up and down, sliced through, I've been doing leather repair for 25 years and it's still a tough repair for me. So in that case, we would just have to say, no, that's not something that's repairable. Uh, you're going to have to find another solution. But in this case, it was sliced to the side. Tools are simple here. Paintbrush, good leather glue, or really, honestly, if you're in a pinch, you could just go to a craft store and get a craft glue that was flexible for fabric, and that would work just fine. Some water and a rag. That's all we need for this one. And here's the technique. Take some of the glue, and you brush it into the side of the slit. Nice amount, so you fill it up nicely and make sure you're going to get a strong bond. Then you flip the paintbrush. Take the back of the paintbrush and you carefully roll everything in place. Applying even pressure. Then you use some water. Wipe away the excess glue. And there we go. Slice is gone. You can let it air dry or you can use heat gun to force dry it and it will be a good strong repair. It'll blend into the leather. Nobody will know it was there and this piece can go out on time. You're a hero to your furniture store. You've made a couple hundred bucks. Everybody's happy.